views are incredible. And the beach is absolutely stunning. It's, it's and it's deserted as well. A Ramley burger. This one was deep fried. We have hired a car. We're gonna be taking you around the island today. I think we're gonna start at the cable car and walk along the sky bridge and drive around, see, check out the rest of the island. A little bit nervous. This is the first time we've ever hired a car and we've driven overseas. The good thing is they drive on the same side of the road as us in Australia. Yep. So that should make it a little bit better. Yep, should be fun. Car hire in Langkawi is so affordable. We only paid 50 Australian dollars and that is for 24 hours. And they're gonna come and pick the car up. We do obviously have to leave it with a full tank of petrol as per a usual car hire. But yeah, super excited to be able to have our own freedom to explore and see what's around. So there is an option also to hire a moped or a motorbike. We are not going to do that because I don't like them. But also we're not insured. So in our insurance, travel insurance policy, we didn't opt for motorcycle coverage. So that's pretty much the reason. Much to Steve's disappointment. Sorry. And they're so cheeky. We did it! <laughs> We're here. It took about 25 minutes from Chenang Beach. I didn't show you our car. This is our little car for the day. <laughs> so cute. It actually feels like you're driving in tropical far north Queensland. It's similar landscape. See the very green, mountainous. The weather's kind of similar. Shall we do it? We shall. I feel like I'm going to a rave. <laughs> that was so quick. Woo! Ticket price, it was 170 ringgit for the both of us, so that's about 55 Australian dollars for two of us to get up to the top. And then you need to purchase the Sky Bridge tickets separately when you're at the top. But super happy there's no line, we get the cab to ourselves, and it's a beautiful, clear day. So So there's no air conditioning in here either and we just saw an open air one. I think we're going to try and get one of those on the way back because it's just like a little hot box in here. Yeah, it's an oven. There's a little open window here but there's not a whole lot of airflow. of heights or anything but my legs feel like jelly it is so steep and i was not expecting it to be this high <laughs> these cable cars swing quite a lot and it's making me feel pretty motion sick i could definitely vomit right now <laughs> oh, just trying to focus on the horizon and then not throw Here at the first level of the cable cars, the views are incredible. We've seen a lot of footage of up here when it's cloudy and there's no visibility, visibility whatsoever, but today it is beautiful. And you can see right down to actually the beach that where we're staying. And to get up to the sky bridge, you just need to go on another short section of the cable car, purchase the ticket when you're there, and then you can go out for a walk on the sky bridge. So I think that's what we're gonna do now. So that there to my right is the line for the sky rail, but we've opted to do the nature walk, which is about 10 ringgit cheaper per person. And I can't be bothered getting in another one of those lifts. I'm not feeling that good. <laughs> it's a 
let's go. It said 324 steps. And this is definitely getting our steps in for the day. So should we have paid the extra ringgit to get the sky train? No, nah, because we'd still be in line. And I mean, we bought our good hiking shoes, our back, so put them to use. Can you feel the bounce? Yeah. Nowhere near as bad as the cable car though, so I'm fine with this. It's a little bit unnerving that the whole bridge is held up from this one metal pole. You can feel the whole thing shake and wobble and move. If the cable car wasn't enough shaking. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better now that we're up here though. Yeah, we've had some water and I got some Mentos, so we feel a lot better. We still gotta catch them all the way down there. Alright, so we're back down from the top of the mountain. You nearly stood on the cat's tail. Oh, did I? <laughs> There's a cat there. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, that was a lot more strenuous than I was expecting. I'm going to head to the car, jump in it and go to apparently one of the nicest beaches here in Langkawi. And maybe get some lunch. Tanjung Ru. It was about half an hour from the cable car. Really easy drive, not too much traffic at all, and the beach is absolutely stunning. It's, it's and it's <sighs> deserted as well. Like you can see it's behind so us. So beautiful. There's only a couple kids, but we're gonna head down the beach a little bit and try and find some shade in some palm trees. Yeah. And probably go for a swim. Definitely go for a swim. It's super hot. Been a couple of hours at the beach here. It's so lovely. It was the nicest beach we've seen for a long time. Yeah, the sand was beautiful and white, mm -hmm. nice and clean. The water was green but not crystal clear. I think that's pretty common here in Langkawi. Yeah, especially the beach where we're staying at as well. It's definitely not clear, but it's still really nice. Yeah. Really lovely. So I think we're gonna head home. No, we're gonna head to the shops, grab some food groceries and fresh fruit and vegetables really hard to find fresh fruit and vegetables here. not a whole lot of options where no. we're staying so on the way home there's actually a big um, convenience store or yep. supermarket mm -hmm. so we're gonna make the most of it while we actually have a car pull yep. in there get some supplies yep and then we'll head home have a shower and then head back out for the night markets tonight that are supposed to be really good <coughs> So if I'm trying to find something healthy and there's not a lot to choose from, I usually go for blueberries, walnuts and other fruit, but there's no blueberries here. So I've got plums, apples, pears, and now I'm trying to find walnuts. There's quite a big variety. Christy's looking for that healthy food and I'm just happy with the instant ramen. <laughs> We've come down to the Ulu Malaka night markets. These are open every Monday night. So the night markets in Langkawi move around to a different location each night. And tonight they're central, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, central we're in Langkawi. The center of the island. Yeah. So it's 5.30, they opened about half an hour ago. So hopefully everything's open and all the food is out. Yes. Ready, because we're hungry. You can, you can see the smoke coming off the grill, so it smells really nice.
there's not a whole lot of seating options here at the night market. So you buy, buy all your food and then you either take it home or find somewhere to sit and eat it. We're going to head back to the car and sit in the aircon because it is still, even though the sun's setting, it's still very hot. That's not our car. Alright, we're back in the car. <laughs> We've set the camera up kind of on the dash of the TV in mukbang style. We've got our market food. I got a nasi goreng. No, nasi. Oh, I know the word. It's an Indonesian dish. It's rice nasi... wrapped in an egg with chicken and chili sauce on yeah. top. Good luck showing that to the camera without spilling it everywhere. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I went for some fried chicken. I love the fried chicken here in Malaysia. So tasty. Also went for, I saw the guy making it, a Ramly burger. So we've had these a couple times here in Malaysia. This one though was deep fried. I've never had a deep fried hamburger. The entire burger was put in the deep fryer. I don't know how that's going to go. I don't know how you're going to go after that. I'm probably going to die of a heart attack. Oh my it's god. It's just so random to have a deep fried hamburger. I can't believe you're but eating that. Here we go. What's it like? Oh my god. What? It tastes like a normal Ramly burger, but with a donut on the top and bottom. It's good, but so bad for you. I don't, so the Rumley Burger patty is always really pink and to mm. me it looks raw. I don't know, is it raw or is it that colour? I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's, why is it always so pink? It is also, yeah, it is really it's pink. It's always pink and it, to me it seems not, it seems raw. Does it not, even the, t can I have a look? That's a raw meat. It's definitely cooked. Anyway, we're going to finish our food, yep. head back, get some petrol in the car, return the car, and then uh, call it a night. So, yes. we'll see you next time. We had a very adventurous day with yeah. the car hire, and it won't be the last time that we do this, because we love having the freedom to be able to explore places on our own. That's true. So, the next video, we're going to Singapore. Oh, yeah, Singapore. We're going back to Singapore. Yeah. We've spent more time in Singapore than anywhere else in the world in the last eight months easily probably more time in singapore than australia it's like point. our fifth time to singapore fourth time this in eight months so we love it though we're looking forward to it we're there for two weeks and we'll film a couple of videos there all right, all right. see you next time bye see you later